It's my pleasure to be here today and to be able to participate in this uh, outstanding uh, conference. Uh, I think it's going to turn out to be a uh, very important conference for all of us as we come together and discuss the issues. Mr. Speaker, Madam Vice Speaker, members of the Board of Chancellors, members of the Council Steering Committee, counselors, family, friends, guests. It is an honor for me to present the Chief Executive Officer's Report for 2013. The college is a very busy place with great emphasis on those activities that support radiologists' commitment to quality practice and demonstrate value by performing the right exam on the right patient with an accurate diagnosis. First, on a pleasant note, I am happy to inform you that we have completed the renovation of the ACR headquarters and have moved back into the facility. Our new facility allows us to have an outstanding work environment for the staff can concentrate on activities that contribute to the success of radiology. One side benefit of the construction is the fact that we now have a very prominent sign that is visible from the Dulles Toll Road announcing the American College of Radiology building. It didn't even cost us any extra money. <laughs> More importantly, we now have a first-rate facility. Better internal structure permits optimum use of space within the original building footprint including fewer offices, more workstations, more multipurpose and conference rooms, and more facility that can be used in a productive manner. In this slide, I have listed an overview of the headquarters building and the facility that resulted from this construction. I'm proud to say that our leadership in the Energy and Environmental Design Certification, so-called LEADS, not only demonstrates leadership, innovation, environmental stewardship, and social responsibility, but also provides building owners and operators the tools needed to immediately impact the building's performance and bottom line, while providing a healthy indoor space for the building occupants. We now also own the building across the street from the headquarters, which houses our education center, as well as educational activities, publications, marketing, and public relations. We lease out the third floor with the rent, covering over 80% of the building's operating costs. This is a picture of our outstanding uh, staff who cover the areas of advocacy, our government relations uh, group that work downtown in uh, close proximity to Capitol Hill. I am dedicated to ensuring that uh, our advocacy activities are second to none in the medical profession. And I invite you to call or uh, see at the meetings members of our government relations uh, team to discuss your ideas as how we should approach the uh, issues at hand. Uh, we also uh, have uh, taken some action in terms of our external lobbying uh, activities, and that is, is that we have changed firms. Our new firm is Forbes Tate and is very seriously in engaged uh, inside the Beltway. They're a well-known firm. Jeff Forbes, Zachary Williams, Elizabeth Greer, and Jeff Strunk are the principles. There is no question that in this environment we need to stay aggressive to deal with all the issues facing us. And we believe that Forbes Tate is the right group to help us do so. Next, I want to congratulate Bruce Hellman on the 10th anniversary of the JACR. It took an amazing amount of hard work, but he has exceeded all expectations and is certainly rewarding to see the outstanding result. I quote Bruce in saying, first several years, every article had to be recruited. We took it on faith that someone out there was reading what we published. I think he knew he was being read. <laughs> now, as we celebrate its 10th anniversary, it has become quite competitive to get a manuscript published, and the independent surveys show that JACR is the most important read of all radiology journals. Now I'd like to discuss with you the philosophy behind the ACR educational programs. I want to emphasize that the programmatic development is unique from what any other radiology society offers. We are not developing Me Too programs, we are, developing we are not developing simple weekend courses, and we are not developing material that can be done by any other society. Rather, we are developing cutting edge course material unique to the college the Education Center, the American Institute for Radiologic Pathology, the Radiology Leadership Institute, to name three. This is not the same old, same old. This is exemplified by the certification we received 
from the Accreditation Council for Continuing Medical Education and renewal accreditation of the ACR as a continuing medical education provider. When we had done the uh, merger with uh, Rankin Ray, uh, we had given up our, uh, our credentials to do uh, uh, certification in the area of continuing medical education, and we needed to regain them. And we did it with uh, enthusiasm that the uh, certifying body came by and commented repeatedly on uh, how marvelous our approach was and how uh, well we were addressing the issues. I am very proud to say that the responses we have received about the American Institute for Radi Radiologic Pathology has been excellent, as I've said. The AIRP is an example of our unique approach and benefits not just residency programs, but all of radiology, both academic and private practice. Take a few minutes and talk to one of our staff about the categorical courses being offered this year with the AI AIRP's methodology as a central focus. I think you'll find a very interesting approach to learning and a very new, fresh approach to learning. Other important activities of the college are development of the National Radiology Data Register, Registry, including the Dose Index Registry, which was launched in May of 2011. It collects and compares practice performance to re regional and national benchmarks. This is an important tool for improving the quality of patient care. It helps facilities benchmark outcomes and process of care measures and develops quality improvement programs. The ACR Dose Index Registry is a data registry that allows facilities to compare their CT dose indices to regional and national levels. Information related to dose indices for all CT exams is collected anonymized, transmitted to the ACR, and stored in a database. Data collected from the registry will be used to establish national benchmarks for CT dose indices. This slide, while hard to read, shows an example of the registry collection as of March, 20, March uh, 20, uh, 2013. With 600 facilities, of which 331 of them are fully active, producing 3.4 million exams and 5.9 million scans. That is a heck of a lot of data. And one, so we're going to be able to get some very valuable information about the performance in an optimal fashion of CT uh, scans. As you are all aware by now, the ACR recently established a new education program called the Radiology Leadership Institute. For the past few months, the ACR has been actively involved in the beginning process of a campaign to support the RLI titled Leading Radiology into the Future. We plan to raise a minimum of $5 million to support the continued growth and development of the RLI. Up until now, our campaign has been in the quiet phase, but today we will officially launch the start of our campaign. I am very excited to announce that as of May 1st, we have raised an impressive $2.8 million, or 57% of our goal. I am further proud to tell you that all our VOC and CSC members have contributed to the campaign. The college originally pledged $1 million, but recently decided to match the support of the leaders and increase their gift to $1.2 million in hopes that this pledge reflects our level of belief in the performance of the RLI and inspires similarly high levels of giving from our corporate partners. Our fundraising council is there to answer any questions and is happy to assist you in making a pledge. And we have a bench uh, a table out uh, in the registration area for uh, talking to one of the staff about the RLI. Next, I would like to present the financial summary. Dr. Ann Robert, our treasurer, will give you a full report, but I wanted to just show you a very short uh, view of, of the finances of the organization. Namely, that there's a positive net from operations of $3.2 million, as well as the gain in our long-term investment portfolio of $7 million. I anticipate another year of positive results. In closing, I want to reiterate that the ACR continues to work hard to maintain its role as one of the leading healthcare associations in the United States, providing you with a strong advocacy, economic leadership, quality and safety products and services, cutting edge educational products and programs, and promoting ACR's position in world class research. I want to thank you, the members, for all you do to make the ACR a success. Without your support, we would not be as strong as we are and prepared to deal with the many issues and changes that face our specialty. I look forward to being with you this week. It is my privilege to be the CEO of the American College of Radiology 
and to work with all of you to achieve our goals. Thank you.